Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. The all new 2018 Honda Accord's finally been revealed, giving us our first detailed look at the all new styling, the new powertrains with specs, and the details that make it better than ever. Now in its 10th generation, the 2018 Honda Accord is all new from the ground up, make no mistake. On a fresh new platform architecture, its wheelbase is over 2 inches longer. It's wider both in body dimensions and in its track. Making it look sleeker and giving it better aerodynamics is its fastback roofline and lower body height by just over a half inch. The seating position is lowered up to a full inch to contribute to a lower center of gravity all around. Styling does take on many of the themes we've seen in other new Hondas of late. A bold upright face features Honda's now familiar chrome wing grille. Shown here are the optional 9-element LED headlights and LED fog lights. The rear three-quarter view shows a roofline and rear window detail treatment very similar to that of the Honda Civic. It all flows into a rear end that I think is far more handsome than the last Honda Accord with LED light tight taillights and a nice rear fascia treatment with dual exhausts on the Touring. With its length and wheelbase and artfully tapered lower rocker lines, the 2018 Honda Accord even reads more like a rear-wheel drive sedan, though it does remain front-wheel drive. More important, it pays dividends of space for the reconfigured interior. With 2.5 cubic feet more passenger volume, the new cabin will offer increased feel of spaciousness with more legroom and hip room up front, and especially at the rear, where there's an additional 2 inches to stretch your legs. And you'll be comfortable with the new look, too. Honda has had the art of interior design and execution down to an art form for a while, and this cabin takes the ball forward with no apologies. Design and detail you expect is here, and then some. The new dash design has an available full digital instrument cluster display with high-end crisp graphics to allow you to customize what you see every day from behind the wheel. A new floating 8-inch display audio screen features both a volume and tuning knob. What a great new innovation! Graphics are improved for the menus and navigation along with a fully packed feature functionality including the now expected Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A full suite of connected services too long to list here will also be available. Powering the 2018 Honda Accord is a full list of new powertrains starting with a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine with 192 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque. It can be had with a continuously variable transmission CVT, or a 6-speed manual. Optional and replacing the V6 will be a new 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder with 252 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. It may have less horsepower than the V6, but it beats it in torque by a good margin. Best of all, the new high-output engine will be available with a new 10-speed automatic transmission, a first for a front-wheel drive car. And even better still, it'll also be available with that 6-speed manual transmission and a clutch pedal. Nice for a big mid-size sedan like this. Both engines are expected to offer better fuel economy than the base 4-cylinder and V6 engines in the last Honda Accord. But a fuel economy is really your hot button then the new 2-motor hybrid system will be available too. The new hybrid powertrain features a 2-liter Atkinson Cycle 4-cylinder engine and the new 2-motor hybrid drive system designed and developed by Honda. The hybrid battery now fits under the rear floor so trunk space and rear seat fold-down capability isn't impacted. Taking all of the 2018 Honda Accords down the road is a new body structure made of over 50% high-strength steel, which contributes to a more solid structure than ever, which increases rigidity over 25% but also lighter by up to 176 pounds. Chassis highlights include a new aluminum front subframe with L-shaped lower control arms for the all-new strut suspension. At the rear is a new multi-link suspension mounted to a rubber isolated subframe that uses fluid-filled bushings. These and other structural and chassis refinements will bring a quieter ride and sharper handling than the last generation Honda Accord. Available for the first time will be an adaptive damper system that can adjust the suspension's stiffness and feel. This and the new standard drive mode selector that offers Econ, Normal and Sport settings promises more power of choice than ever over the driving feel and performance. When the all-new 2018 Honda Accord arrives later this year, also expect that all of the latest driver assistance and safety systems of Honda Sensing to be standard equipment. These include collision mitigation braking, lane departure warning, road departure mitigation, and adaptive cruise control, just to name a few. And of course, the familiar list of Honda trim grades will include LX, Sport, EX, EXL, EXL Navi, and Touring. 
The 2 liter and the hybrid models skip the base LX trim grade and if you want the manual transmission it comes exclusively in the sport models. Production for the new 2018 Honda Accord including the hybrid model will start in Ohio a little bit later this year with pricing and final specifications to be announced closer to that time. Alright my friends, I'll bring you a far more detailed review as well as a test drive as soon as the cars become available which shouldn't be too long, probably another couple of months. Until then, click right here, subscribe to our YouTube channel, I'll keep you notified of when that happens. Also click right there, see our latest test drive. Either way, stay tuned!